Hey Yogi, my name is Bree. Welcome to class. Today is going to be an intermediate vinyasa flow with a few funky transitions and maybe some new poses for you too. So hang on to your pants. It's going to be a fun class. If you're brand new to yoga, then I recommend that you head on over to our beginner playlist where we have over 80 classes designed just for you. But if you've been practicing yoga for a while and you're also familiar with our style, then this class is going to be right up your alley. If you like listening to music during your yoga class, then you can check in the description below where we have over 60 yoga playlists designed just for you. So you can click play on a Spotify playlist and then come back to this video. You don't need any props today. You just need your yoga mat and your body, of course. If you wanna grab a yoga block, then you can use it, especially if you know that you will need it for half moon or revolved half moon. So grab a block if you have it. I don't have one here, but uh, I will remind you when we come into those poses for you to grab yours if you need it. We'll begin in Balasana, child's pose. So feet together, knees apart. Sit the hips down to the heels and walk the hands forward. If it's accessible, you can let your head rest down onto the ground, but it's also not necessary. Relax the arms. Relax the chest. Begin to deepen the breath. Let this space of stillness that we're starting from be your foundation of that inner stillness and peace throughout the entire practice. So if there's anything that's on your mind that maybe you brought onto your yoga mat today, I would like you to gently let those thoughts go. You can come back to them when the class is done. But for now, they don't need resolution. What you need now is to connect with the breath, move in the body, and to feel good. Engage your ujjayi breath. Make your way into a tabletop. Keep that ujjayi breath going throughout your entire practice. We'll start with the wrist warm up, but first I want you to tuck your toes under. Start to sit back on the heels, stretch out the feet. Slide the hands a little bit closer to the knees and then send the fingertips toward the outside edge of your mat. Bring the wrist just a couple inches apart from each other. Keep the arms straight and then start to make some circles around the wrists. Switch directions. And then come onto the backs of the hands. The fingertips are pointing back towards the knees. Again, keep the arms straight. Sit back towards the heels. The wrist might lift off, that's okay. And back to tabletop. Make your way into plank pose. So maybe walk the hands forward a little more and step the feet back, lift the knees. Clean up your plank, nice and strong. Tuck the pelvis under and engage the core. Gaze is straight down onto the mat. And press onto the inside part of the hands so you're not dumping the weight into the outside cartilage of the wrist. Now you can either stay here or you can join me. You're gonna lift your left foot up off the ground, point the left foot. So one-legged plank. 
You could either stay here or join me for awkward plank. You're going to start to reach your right arm forward straight out in front of you. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Back to plank. And maybe you stay here again in plank or right leg lifts off. Maybe stay here or join me for awkward plank. So all of this is optional. You can also just stay in plank. You could even set the knees down. Your practice always. Last two, last one. High plank. Lift the hips, downward dog. So we're warming up the body pretty quickly here in the practice. Bend both knees. Press the chest closer to the quads. Back to downward dog. Shift forward to high plank. Side plank on the left. Right arm reaches up to the sky. The gaze is up towards the right thumb. And the right knee lifts towards the right armpit. Pause here. Gaze down towards the left hand. And then step the right foot to the top of the mat. Gently set down the left knee. Low lunge. Both arms reach up to the sky. The hips come forward and down. Tuck the pelvis under once again. Strong core. Open twist to left arm forward. Right arm comes back. And then spiral up so the left hand comes up towards the ceiling and the right hand comes to the left hamstring. Now we're going to keep it here with the legs, but then you're going to reach your left hand all the way over to the left side for a side bend over to the left. Right arm reaches up over your head. Three breaths here. Back to center, half split, start to straighten the right leg. Right toes up towards the sky. And a little micro bend in the right knee. And we do that mainly because there's a lot of nerves that run on the back side of the knee. And it's not necessary to put that extra strain on the sciatic nerve. So even if you have a micro bend in the knee, you can still feel the stretch in the right hamstring. Rebend the right knee, and you're going to make your way into revolved half moon. Left leg shoots straight back. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Palms together, hands at the heart for Shiva squat. So bend both knees, and the left knee is going to come outside the right calf. Point the left foot. Pause here. Now begin to extend the left leg straight out to the right side off the mat. Come onto the knife edge of both feet. Left fingertips down on the ground. And right hand to your low back. Come into a gentle twist. And then you can kind of play around here with the legs. Start to straighten the right leg a little bit more or less. Maybe you want to slide that left leg out a little bit more. See if you can feel the stretch in the outer IT band of the left leg. And 
and then start to straighten the right leg, rise up for tree pose. You can use your left hand to help guide your foot. Press the palms together. Send the left knee back, so it's more of a hip opener. And your drishti is straight ahead. Three breaths here. Release tree pose and make your way into half moon. Extend the left leg straight back. Right fingertips down towards the ground. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Palms together, hands at the heart for Shiva squat. Keep the hands where they're at. Extend the left leg straight back to warrior three. Back to Shiva squat. And then back to warrior three. Let's do three more of these. Nice and slow. So exhale to Shiva squat. Inhale, lift, press, warrior three. Exhale, Shiva squat. Warrior three, last one. Shiva squat. Warrior three. And then rise all the way up to standing. Send that left leg forward without touching the ground. Both hands come down to your sides. Keep that left leg straight and lift that leg as high as you can. Hold here for three, two, one, and now we're gonna lower down into a pistol squat. So just do your best here, use your hands if you need to. And once you're there, lower onto your back. Keep that left leg straight, shoot it straight up to the sky. Right leg shoots forward in front of you, and the right leg is also straight, but you're gonna keep the right leg hovering above the ground. Reach towards your left foot, and then exhale, lift the chest up, lower down. Let's go for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, keep the legs straight, three, two, last one, we're gonna hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Rebend the right leg and then rock forward. Come into a seat. So now left leg is straight, right leg is bent. Left palm comes down onto the ground. Lift the hips up and step the left foot to the back of the mat for lizard lunge. Both hands come inside the right foot. You can move the hips around. And then set down the left knee. Option to either stay here or take a thigh stretch with the left leg. So if you want to stretch, then reach back with the right hand, bend the left leg, hook onto the left foot. Option to come onto the knife edge of the right foot and send the right knee out just slightly. Gently release the thigh stretch if you had it held. And you're gonna keep your right foot where it's at, but you're just gonna step your left knee outside your right foot and come into a seated twist. Right hand comes behind you, and the left hand can either hold on to the right thigh 
or knee, or you could also hook the left elbow outside the right leg. Your choice here, three breaths. Bring back Ujjayi if you lost it. Release the twist, and you're gonna keep your left leg where it's at. We're gonna come into a modified double pigeon. So you're just gonna bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh or knee. And then you'll start to flex both feet. So instead of pointing, I'd like you to flex. And then start to walk the hands forward to any degree. Walk your hands back. Lift the right knee up, so the right sole of the foot comes back down onto the ground. Make your way to lizard lunge. Left palm down, left leg back. Left leg is completely straight, and make your way into wild thing. So the right leg is gonna lift up and over the left leg. Right toes touch down on the ground and right arm reaches up over your hut. Now gaze down towards your left hand. We're gonna try something a little new. So you're gonna come onto the top of your right foot and you're gonna to start to slide the right foot closer to your left hand, all the way until the right shin touches the ground. Start to bend your left leg, left sole of the foot down onto the ground, and then begin to press the hips forward. So you feel a stretch in your right quad. And probably a stretch in a few other places too. Start to set the hips down onto the right heel. Extend the left leg straight out. Come onto the knife edge of the left foot. And then again, lift the hips back up and make your way back into wild things. So you really have to lift the hips, press into the left hand, and then step that right foot back to wild thing. On your next exhale, right palm will touch down on the ground. Side plank on the right. Left arm reaches up to the sky. And as you exhale, you're just gonna start to reach your left hand underneath your body as far as you can without compromising this side plank or letting your, your feet slide off. And then make it back to side plank. Let's do four more. Lower down. Cross it under, lift, lower, inhale, lift, last two, and last one. Beautiful. High plank. Plank never felt so good, right? Shift forward high on the toes. Bend the arms, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Pause here, three breaths. Engage the glutes and the core. Lift the hips, downward dog. Lift the heels, bend the knees. Walk the feet to the top of the mat. Take an inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way to standing. Palms touch at the top, big reach. 
and exhale, forward fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale, place the hands, step the feet back, and we'll meet in downward dog. However you want to get there is perfect. Inhale, shift forward to high plank. Side plank on the right. Left knee comes up towards the left armpit and pause here. Gaze down towards the right hand and slowly step your foot to the top of the mat. Low lunge, right knee touches down. Inhale, arms lift. And exhale the hips forward and down. Open twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, reverse, spiral, right arm up towards the sky, left hand on the right hamstring. Keep the legs where they are and release the right hand down to the right side and side bend over to the right, left arm up over the head. Back to center, start to straighten the left leg for half splits. You have about three more breaths here. So see if you can deepen the breath. Can you, again, come back to this space of inner stillness, of inner clarity and ease? Some days are easier than others. So wherever you're at is perfect. Make your way into revolved half moon. If you need to grab that block, you're welcome to. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Shiva squat, palms together, hands at the heart. Right knee comes outside the left calf. Point the right foot. Start to straighten your right leg, come onto the knife edge of the right foot, off the left side of the mat. And then once you have your right hand down on the ground, you can also come onto the knife edge of the left foot. Left hand comes onto the low back. Maybe you take a little twist. And then again, just explore how that feels when you bend and straighten the left leg. After four or five years of teaching this pose, we still do not have a name for it because we kind of just made it up. If you have any suggestions, comment below. 
And you can name this pose for us. Make your way into tree pose. Slowly rise up. I know that's tough. That left hip is working. All good. Take your time. Release tree, make your way into half moon. Left fingertips down towards the ground and right arm reaches up to the sky. Shiva squat. Warrior three. Big inhale, strong warrior three. Exhale back to Shiva squat, let's do four more. Move with your breath. Great job, back to warrior three. And then come up to standing, right leg stays straight, shoot it straight forward, hands come down towards the ground. Pause here. And lower down into that pistol squat. Again, take your time. Use your hands if you need to. Once you're there, lower onto your back. Right leg shoots straight up to the sky. And left leg shoots straight out in the front of your mat. So both legs are straight. Your left foot is hovering above the ground. And then reach towards your right foot. And lower down. Lift and reach. And lower. Let's go for eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, last one. And now we're going to hold here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, lift higher. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rebend your left leg. Plant the sole of the foot down as you rock forward. So now your right leg is straight, left leg is bent. Place the right palm down on the mat and make your way back into lizard lunge. Lift the hips. And then step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Both hands plant down. Option again to move the hips around. Gently set down the right knee. Option to either stay here or take that thigh stretch. So you can reach back with the left hand, grab onto the right foot. Completely up to you. Gently release the foot if you had it held. And make your way into a seated twist. So the left foot will stay where it's at and the right knee will come outside the left foot. Come into a seat. And then hold on to the right, excuse me, hold on to the left leg. Right hand, left hand comes behind you. <laughs> you can also 
hook your right elbow outside your left thigh. Depends on how deep you want to go into the twist, but it doesn't really matter as long as you can feel the stretch, if you, especially in your mid-back, your thoracic spine, then it's all good. Depth is never the goal, at least not in our classes and not in our philosophy of yoga. We're here for just a few more breaths. So if your mind is wandering back to the task list, somewhere outside of your yoga mat in this moment in time, then gently let those thoughts go and come back to this breath. Inhale, exhale, and repeat. Release the twist. Keep the right leg where it's at. And then you're going to bring your left ankle on top of your right knee or thigh for this modified double pigeon. Flex both feet. Maybe this is already enough of a stretch for you. But if you'd like to move a little bit more into the stretch, you could also start to lean the chest forward, walk the hands forward to any degree. doing such an amazing job with this funky class. Keep up the good work. We're coming towards the end. So you can do it. Start to lift the chest back up, walk the hands back. Make your way into a lizard lunge. Left sole of the foot comes down onto the ground. And then step the right foot back. Make sure your right knee is lifted, your right leg is straight, and make your way into wild thing. Left leg comes up and over the right leg. Lift the hips, find some relief in the hip flexors from that double pigeon. And then look down at the hand or the mat. And then again, you're gonna come onto the top of your left foot. So take your time to get there. All the way until your left shin touches down on the ground. And when it does, you can bring your right foot back. So the right leg is almost at 90 degrees. And then send the hips forward. Set the hips down onto the left heel, straighten that right leg back out, come out on the knife edge of the right foot and lift the hips back up. Now with all the strength you can muster, make your way back into wild thing. Release the left palm down onto the ground, side plank on the left. As you exhale, start to reach your right hand underneath the body through that triangle and bring it back up, side plank. Let's do four more. Exhale through, bring it up. Last one. Side plank. Right palm down. High plank. Shift forward high on the toes. Bend the arms. Chaturanga. We're going to hold here. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale to downward dog. Lift the heels, bend the knees, and walk the feet forward into a seated position. And then start to bring the hands behind you. We're going to make our way into reverse tabletop. But this time today, I would like you to bring your fingers to point towards the back of the mat. Lower the hips back down. Make your way onto your back. Cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh for figure four. Reach your right hand through the triangle. Hold on to either your left shin or your left hamstring. Flex the right foot and gently pull the legs into the chest. We're here for about five breaths. So either stay here in figure four, or you can take it a little bit deeper and come into a fork lift. So for that, you would bring also your left hand through the triangle all the way up until you can bring your right calf into your eyes of your elbows, and then once you have your leg held, kind of like you would for a forklift, then you have the option to begin to straighten the left leg. Either out, you can let it hover, or you can let the left leg come all the way down to the ground. Release this figure four. If you took the forklift, reverse out of it the same way you went in. And switch over to the left side. Left ankle on top of right thigh. Figure four first. And then option to take it up a notch and come into that forklift if you'd like. Five breaths, wherever you're at. Back to figure four, if you took forklift, and all together release. Hold on to both of your kneecaps, and then make some big circles with the knees. Release any tension in the hips, the low back. We worked a little bit more on the hips today, which is great. And if, you, it's, if it's morning for you and you still have the rest of your day ahead, then try not to sit for too long today. Take breaks if you have a desk job or you're sitting down. Make sure that you stand up at least once an hour. Go get some water. Move the hips around so that you're not super stiff tonight when you go to crawl into bed. Great. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Take a deep breath in. Fill the lungs all the way up. And then just pause at the top just for a moment. 
Feel all the love that you gave yourself for the past 40 minutes. And exhale, release. Make your way into Shavasana. With each exhale, allow any tension that you're still holding on to to gently melt away. Exhale and melt. Exhale and melt. Continue to release and relax. And I'll be ending the video here today, but this is not the end of your practice. You could either pause the video or if you have autoplay already turned off, then I recommend that you stay here in Shavasana for at least two to five minutes so that you can really soak in the benefits of this practice. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today, for trying some new things, for connecting with your breath. It's been my honor and my privilege to be here with you today to share this space with you. See you on the mat again tomorrow. Lots of love. And namaste.